Never thought I'd say this, but your AI is now learning how much it should think on its own. And OpenAI just made ChatGPT way more personal than your favorite playlist. Today, OpenAI rolled out GPT 5.1. And trust me, this update isn't just a new model. It rewires how ChatGPT reasons, how it talks to you, and even how emotional or cold you want it to be. By the end of this video, you'll know exactly what changed, how the new instant and thinking modes work, and why developers, creators, and everyday users are freaking out over adaptive reasoning. All right, let's break this down. Imagine you're talking to someone who can switch between quick chat mode and deep thinking mode automatically. That's basically GPT 5.1. OpenAI says users wanted two things, AI that's smarter and AI that's actually enjoyable to talk to. GPT 5.1 is their answer. GPT 5.1 instant. It's the default. Faster, warmer, more conversational. Feels like talking to someone who gets your vibe instantly and doesn't overthink simple stuff. GPT 5.1 thinking. This one is the brainiac. It explains things more clearly, uses deeper reasoning, and handles complex tasks like a machine that drank way too much coffee. But here's the twist. It's thinking time changes based on what you ask. Ask it something simple. It responds twice as fast as the older model. Ask it something hard. It slows down on purpose because it starts generating longer internal reasoning traces, like an AI taking a deep breath before solving a tough problem. This is the highlight of the whole release. GPT 5.1 doesn't treat every prompt equally. It decides when it should think slowly and when it should speed through. Before this, models were basically stuck at one speed, fast but shallow or slow but smart. GPT 5.1 is the first mainstream model that adjusts its reasoning like a human does. OpenAI finally gave users something everyone has been asking for, real-time tone customization. Instead of rewriting your system prompt or starting a new chat, GPT 5.1 instantly switches styles, default, professional, friendly, candid, quirky, efficient, nerdy, cynical, and yes, ChatGPT can now suggest tone changes based on how you talk. If you type like a chill person, it may offer to be more casual. If you write like you're drafting a legal document, it'll go full professional mode. You can even fine tune traits like how warm it sounds, how concise it is, how many emojis it uses or doesn't use. So yeah, it's basically mood adaptive now. OpenAI is making this update available to developers too. GPT 5.1 chat latest for instant. GPT 5.1 endpoint with adaptive reasoning for thinking. GPT 5 stays available under legacy for three months so people can compare. This part is huge for startups and devs because they now get an AI that knows when to think harder without burning extra tokens on every request. But here's the big question everyone's asking. If the model chooses how long it thinks, how do we know it's choosing the right amount? Because if it thinks too fast, you might lose accuracy. If it thinks too slow, you're wasting time and money. This adaptive reasoning thing is amazing, but also a little unpredictable. OpenAI says they've trained it to balance speed and depth. The instant model handles everyday stuff effortlessly. Summaries, emails, rewrites, casual chats. The thinking model kicks in when things get messy coding logic, complex reasoning, research questions, multi-step instructions. But the real magic is that you don't have to choose. The model does it for you. It's the closest thing we've seen to an AI with an attention span. Sometimes it goes rapid fire. Sometimes it slows down and builds a whole reasoning chain under the hood. This opens up a bigger shift AI that manages its own cognitive load. That's something even GPT-4 didn't do well. And the moment that broke the internet today, OpenAI confirming something huge. GPT 5.1. Thinking is up to two times faster on simple tasks and two times slower but way more accurate on complex ones. Meaning, the AI is now smart enough to decide how smart it needs to be. This is the first real step toward adaptive AGI behavior. Not more power, but more control over power. Subscribe for more such videos and click on the bell icon to get updated.